Welcome to the Using the HTML Editor demo. In this demo, you will learn how to use the HTML Editor that is found throughout most of the tools in D2L Brightspace. At the end of this demo, you will be able to write, create, add pictures, links, etc. to your D2L Brightspace course using both the basic and advanced modes of the HTML Editor. First, log in to your D2L Brightspace account and go into your course. On the course navigation bar, click on the Course Tools drop down menu. Then choose the tool you want to use. In this example, we will use the Content tool. Then, click on the drop down arrow by any item in which you want to edit using the HTML Editor tool. Find the HTML editor. To activate the editor, click anywhere inside of it. You will notice that the HTML editor very much resembles word processing programs that you may be familiar with, such as Microsoft Word. For example, it has a built-in auto spell check that will underline misspelled or unrecognized words with a red wavy line and it has a formatting toolbar across the top. This toolbar includes the Insert Stuff, Insert Images, Insert Quick Links, Insert Symbols, Style Formatting, Bold Text, Italic Text, Underline Text, Indents, Lists, Font Style, Size, and Color, Insert Table, Insert Equation, the Undo Tools, Cut, and Copy. For example, highlight the text, then click the B for Bold. You'll see the text change to Bold. Repeat the process to unbold the text. You can change the size of this box for you to work in by dragging the bottom right corner out or in. In the bottom right area, you have the Spell Check tool, the Accessibility Checker tool, along with the option to edit the HTML code, to preview your work, or to make the box full screen. Place your cursor in the HTML box where you'd like to add a picture. Then click on the Insert Image button. Simply drag and drop a picture from your computer into the designated box, or click Upload. Then search your computer and select an image. Then click Add. Fill in the alt text and click OK. Click on the picture to edit it. Move to the corner of the picture and notice that the cursor changes to two arrows. Left click and hold while you move the cursor to make the picture bigger or smaller. Click anywhere else in the HTML editor box to stop editing the picture. You can click the Insert Stuff button to insert a video or audio clip. If you had information typed in a Word document, you would be able to copy and paste it into this HTML box. You can insert an equation with the Sigma key. You can insert symbols found in the drop-down menu next to Quick Links. You can change the color of text, highlight it, and click on the drop down arrow next to the color swatch. Click on the color red, then click save. Notice that your text is red. You can insert two types of hyperlinks. For links inside of your course, place the cursor where you would like the link placed. Then, click on the Insert Quick Link button. 
choose the tool that you would like to link to. Then choose the item that you'd like to link. From the same quick link list, you will see that you can choose to create a link to an outside URL or website. Type the website's address in the URL field or copy it from the address bar and paste it into the URL field. In the title field, type what you want the students to see when reading the information you are presenting. It is best to have the target set to open in a new window. When you are finished, click Insert. The last feature of the HTML editor is the Edit HTML Source icon. This will allow you to view the content of the HTML editor as you are typing in HTML coding. If you know HTML coding, using this feature can help you spice up your content. When you're finished making changes, remember to click the Save button or Publish button in the bottom left corner. You have now successfully used the HTML editor.